Schools across Kenya are often overcrowded with little in the way of infrastructure, affecting children's learning and teachers' ability to teach. So we have uh, this class is one classroom but divided into two due to lack of uh, classrooms. We have class five seated here, 38 uh, pupils uh, in this class. So this is their class, they are facing this side and they are using that portable blackboard. We also have uh, class seven here. There are 40 in number sitting in this uh, classroom. They also use the other wall blackboard. Tobermore's contribution to a number of schools in western Kenya has enriched the lives of thousands of children. With better classrooms and more functioning toilets, school children can concentrate on their classwork rather than worry about the problems they face in getting through the day. When we approached Concern, they built for us the new toilets, gave us a changing room for the girls, uh, they provided for us some water in the compound, and they renovated for us two classes. Parents are grateful that these schools are in better shape and are flocking to send their children here. Even the teachers that are teaching here love the class because it is clean, it is good, and it serves the purpose. Congestion is a major problem facing schools here. Some classes have over 100 children. Free primary education only provided for abolition of the tuition fees that the children were paying. But for the poor families or the poor households, going to school is more than just abolishing the, the tuition fees. There are other factors that are still keeping children out of school. Our school has very high enrollment. Since the government introduced the free primary education, we have many children in the school. Our enrollment increased by more than half. You will find that in each class, there are about 90, an average of 78 to 90 children. One of the members that we approached is Concern Worldwide. They came up, assisted us construct a classroom. Are you happy with your class? Yeah. Prina Otieno is in Standard 3. She is eight years old and at the top of her class of 90 children. My favorite subject is math because it is interesting. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer. She wouldn't have such aspirations if her schoolroom didn't have a roof or windows or if the girls' toilets were too few with no doors. With uh, the, the schools being closer or... Uh, the schools having enough infrastructure to accommodate the girl child, that would, be, that would be a plus in the community. This is Jane Apollo. She has two children at the Abuelo Primary School, both of them girls. The lack of privacy in the latrines affected both of them. Due to the lack of facilities, girls would make long queues to use the toilets at break time, and they would miss the first 15 minutes of the lesson or get back to the class without using the latrines. A boy and a girl could share a latrine. So it caused uh, some complications there. Because it was just uh, two, two toilets. And imagine a, a population of 1,000 and something pupils. So most of them could just make it to the bush. Most of the schools have very poor sanitation facilities. And especially for the adolescent girls, this uh, prevented them from coming to school consistently especially during their monthly periods if they did not have a, a, a good place to be able to, to change and to feel uh, secure and have privacy. During those periods, these girls kept off school. Western Kenya is vast and rural. Roads are rough and this is a challenge when trying to improve the infrastructure of a school. With the community participating in this program, it shows commitment to the children and to the area. It gives the community ownership, something that is needed in order to sustain development and improve people's lives.
Concern Worldwide estimates the communities contribute between 8 and 12 percent of the proposed projects. We are happy that most of the communities contributed around 10 percent, which was a very good, uh, a very good show for development projects to be obtained. We also told them the need to ensure that this project belongs to them and not to any donor. And therefore, there was need for them to participate actively and cooperate as much as they could. Sisi wenyewe tumejitolea kutoa mchanga kwa mtoni na tunatoa jiwe, mawe kwa nini kwa mlima pale. Na kasi kidogo dogo hata kukata kuko nini kupasua iwe kokoto. Pia wasasi wanafanya wanafanya peke yao wenye wanashindwa wanatoa pesa kidogo tunalipa naye wenye wana wanapasua. Water is in some places difficult to get as it has to be brought in by pupils. Some water tanks have been put in schools thanks to funding from Tobermore through Concern Worldwide. Without water, children are unable to wash after using the latrines, leading to illness and absenteeism. Schools can become germ-infested and full of disease. Clean water in the compound has uh, actually, we have seen as teachers, nowadays we don't have many cases of diarrhea, so it has actually gone down since we we put clean water. Funds have also been used to promote some women's groups who support orphans to stay in school. They've used this money to buy goats, beehives, and chickens. And from what they earn, they use the money to buy school uniforms, exercise books, and pens for the orphans. I go to school so that I can learn. I want to have that life which is good and, and comfortable. And yet there is still so much to be done. The need here is overwhelming. These children have no idea what it is like to have a good roof over their classroom, so they can learn even when it rains or it's cold. They deserve the chance to be warm and dry. Definitely there is disparity. These children do the same exams like other children in well-to-do communities, and um, yet nobody thinks about their very difficult environment to access education. So in a way it is unfair, and I think that's why concern is concerned that these children ought to have the same opportunities to be able to access good quality education. Schools like these are begging for rehabilitation. Rehabilitation of classrooms and construction of good toilets. And before that, there needs to be funding. Without assistance and donations, children like these have no hope and no chance of a decent education. Education is their passport out of poverty.